Last week, we ended up getting update 1.12 for Modern Warfare, which brought with it a handful of new content additions like Nikto, the newest operator in the game, new maps of Vacant and Shipment, new modes, new Spec Ops contents and the like. But along with it, as with every code adjustment, it brought with it some errors and some problems that players may be encountering since its addition. So today, I want to discuss the 14 confirmed and probable changes coming within Modern Warfare as of the next title update. We're expecting an update as of tomorrow, which is a playlist refresh, adding some things into the shop, changing out and adding new game modes in, but we're talking more so for this one, a title update that may in the near future bring along some new content, but also fix out some of the issues we're talking about, if not, hopefully, all the issues we talk about here in this one. So with that being said, let me know if I missed any glaring subjects of discussion and anything that you think will be changed out within the next update. And as well, if you're new, maybe considering that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare on a daily basis. But that said and out of the way, let's begin. Let's start out with firstly some kill feed adjustments. One thing that was meant to make it in update 1.12 but didn't make it, it just missed the cut was that of some kill feed adjustments. Now we had some adjustments to the kill feed as of recently where it changed up some of the things like you're ranking up, you saved a player, and it changed some of the icons that we had as well with collaterals and then the standard penetration kills. It swapped some of those icons and some of how they were showcased in game. But this time around, we've had some issues recently about kill feeds just completely erasing kills off that kill feed. It's not like it phased out because another kill replaced it or that it timed out. It just simply fades away and erases itself. Kills drop down from the top of the kill feed and then push other kills out by the bottom. But as you see in the clip on screen right now, courtesy of Hatsy, you end up seeing that it actually fades up going upwards and then a quad feed is erased with another kill coming in, making it a second quad feed essentially, whereas it should have been a five on screen. Joe Seacott ended up taking to Twitter replying to this saying that the code missed the major up date as of last week because of some reviews it was going through, but it's coming after the holiday, meaning likely the next title update. Number two on the list comes down to some bad weapon physics on Ania Palace. Specifically, one overlook, taking a look at the D-Flag gas station. There's a mounting spot and overlook that players often use, but right now it's giving people some issues in random occurrences, it seems like, where in the clip you'll notice on screen for my friend Attach's stream, he actually puts three mags into players and gets zero hit markers because of, for whatever reason, it seems like the ledge that he's mounted on nullifies the shot in some regard. As for how that's possible, I have honestly no idea. I'm no game engineer, but David Mickner, multiplayer designer for Infinity Ward, ended up taking to Twitter saying it was a bad physics asset on that corner. If you unmount and step a little left, it will hit, and then he forwarded it to the right team. So a fix for that should be coming as well, especially because it is literally a game-breaking experience. If you're looking out a window, and players can shoot into you, but you can't shoot back at them. Naturally, that's something that's problematic. Number three on the list is something that I would definitely expect to be coming, though of course it might frustrate some people, it may make some people incredibly happy, but I would definitely expect some spawn adjustments on shipment. More so the fact that you simply can't look at specific spawns or get behind specific spawns. That's been the biggest part to me and shipment in Modern Warfare so far, is that I know it's going to be hectic spawns. It's shipment. We know the map we're playing on, but whenever you can sit in the very corner of a map and have players spawn directly in front of you with absolutely no chance of turning around and countering a gunfight, or if you end up spawning in the direct path of somebody ADSing on a specific spawn point, that's the stuff that needs to be adjusted. And with how many clips are running rampant, how many games players will run into where that's being abused, I'd imagine that Infinity Ward are making the appropriate adjustments and making some spawn changes for the next update as well. One thing that I would imagine gets changed out and fixed if it's actually a bug, though hopefully it's a bug, is that of the infected players and infected having their throwing knives removed if they use attack insert. For those that don't know, if you use attack insert and infected right now, you can't use your throwing knife. This hasn't been commented on officially, at least not that I've seen by anybody from Infinity Ward saying that it is a bug where it's a gameplay adjustment that was actually made. But again, I'd imagine it's a bug, but I've also heard the talk that it's a conscious gameplay decision to balance the game air quote on balance, to which I personally don't agree with that at all. If that's the case, you're telling me that if I want a throwing knife, I gotta run all across large maps like Arklov Peak, instead of tack inserting at the top of mid courtyard while everyone's down at docks, there's no cover there. I need a throwing knife to make any sort of push. And if I don't use that tack insert, I run for 30 seconds, then probably lose my throwing knife and have to repeat the process. So if that is a bug, I'd expect that to get changed out as well because it's definitely a big thing changed in the gameplay. Next, I'd expect some adjustments here for the Season Zero Challenge displays. That being 
the fact of your preseason challenges, players say theoretically completed all their challenges, but they only ever got rewarded for seven or eight of the emblems that they would normally afford. And some of them even display as locked still, even though they were completed on the actual challenge page. That's something that's been there since season one began and surprisingly hasn't been fixed out just yet. So I feel like we're at that time where a fix definitely should be coming. After that, there's definitely some challenge tracking overall. The biggest ones that I've seen are, say, the recon drone and season one challenges for the officer challenges, where you have to mark 15 enemies with a recon drone, but they don't seem to be tracking for some reason. There's also a few other inconsistencies I've seen or challenges that aren't tracking for mission challenges as well. So those seem to pop up every so often and have fixes relatively shortly thereafter. So with those being reported since the newest update, I'd imagine they're tracked and then fixed out with the next update as well. After that, we're going to jump over to some PC stuff in which we're going to talk firstly about PC stutters. What you're seeing on screen right now is some footage of what this looks like in-game courtesy of Reddit user Velrak, but I personally have experienced this even in just the menus. Stutters seem to be abundant after update 1.12, and again, even when I'm just getting higher res screenshots of operators for thumbnails and stuff, I'll notice that just in the menus. I've seen a lot of discussion about said issues, I've seen a lot of gameplay of it, so with it being something that pops up so frequently, I can't imagine this is going under the radar of Infinity Ward without any sort of adjustments on the way. So there should be some stability fixes here coming in the next title update as well. Same thing goes for PC freezing. Footage you'll see on screen right now, courtesy of Reddit user Joe Schmo, ends up showcasing what is the extreme here of these stutters, leading to actual freezing, leading to your game quite literally just not working. 10 seconds of a full-blown freeze that you can't do anything about. That stuff goes in compounds on top of that and should be fixed out hopefully in the next title update. And that leads me to the last PC thing, just overall crashes. PC has it a lot where there's a bunch of crash errors right now that happen. I've seen it happen once or twice, personally on PlayStation 4, where the game will crash or blue screen, but it doesn't happen too often on consoles, at least for me. Could happen for you guys, but some crash issues and stability fixes should be coming overall in the next title update as well. One issue that I see getting resolved in the next title update as well is one that's been around before. It's kind of a comical one, but definitely one that is really hard to play with, that being when your view model gets tilted upon spawning. This was a bug before I even had it back actually at our early capture event for Season 1 in-house at Infinity Ward, but it was fixed out with Season 1's introductory title update, but it seems to be back now at this point. So I'd imagine something just slipped through the crack and they just need to reapply a similar fix here for it. So it should be something that's relatively quick and painless to fix, but you shouldn't be seeing that anymore. One thing that I'm also expecting an adjustment on is that of the teammate icon visibility. This has been a problem that I've seen a lot of clips with as of the past week, week and a half or so, where players will end up being across the map but when an enemy is stepping in front of you or between you and your teammate at the same time, their name will still showcase above said enemy. So it looks like you're looking at a teammate, but it's really not. And so therefore you can either get really lucky in a gunfight or you actually just die. So that's a big problem with visibility. And it's something that has been there for a little bit of time now, but I've seen a ton recently and that definitely affects your gameplay experience. So expecting that one to be fixed out as well. There's also a game chat bug, which Joe Seacott mentioned was something they noticed in-house, but are still working on reproducing it so then they can accurately patch that up and get it fixed out. But if it's known about where players can't hear others in game chat and it's something they've noticed in-house, that should be on its way out as well for a fix in the next title update. Another one is that of some players clipping through walls. Larger weapons are definitely going to be a harder thing to fix, Joe Seacott mentioned, but they've been actively working on players clipping through walls, giving away positioning in either strategic modes or if it's something where say just in ground war I know I've come across people where I'm like I, is that a foot that I see and then I shoot and then I get a kill through an entire wall whereas I would otherwise never know that they were there so that stuff is of course problematic it's had fixes rolled out in the past and it continues to have fixes rolled out with hopefully another one coming in the next title update and the final thing we'll talk about is just sheer speculation because well we don't even know if it's gonna be around as the next title update but that of how playlist map selections are made. So the big one that comes to my mind and probably yours as well is that of the season one mosh pit right now, where shipment and vacant are the 24 seven playlist, but you don't get a specific map every single time, or you kind of do, but it's vacant, which likely isn't the one you're wanting. Now, right now it's definitely an issue of players backing out, but whenever it started, Vacant was in the rotation probably 10 to 1 comparative to shipment in terms of the games that you got into. So whenever that's the case, naturally that's unbalanced. 
players want to experience either a 50 50 split or even in some cases there is that fan favorite of shipment that should probably just be its own playlist but i'd imagine the balancing of how those maps come up especially whenever it's only two maps i'd imagine that gets evened out a little bit more in the next title update some of that map and playlist selection logic so expect that kind of stuff to be coming if it's even there that's why i kind of put it in the speculation tab i have no idea if we're going to be still having the season one mosh pit we have weekly playlist updates and even one coming tomorrow which is christmas eve for those that celebrate the holiday so who knows season one mosh pit might not even be there tomorrow let alone as of the next title update but i want to throw that in there and that's where we're going to wrap it up here with the 14 changes you can expect as the next title update for modern warfare so that said let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below is there anything in particular that you guys think will be coming as of the next update anything you would like to add remove from this list whatever it is feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered and if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with outside of youtube crack lip on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below for the send out boy thank you guys awesome for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace